Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to go through the cleaning and sterilization process of the gear that I send out with talent to producers and different crew members, and more importantly, also the gear that comes back to me and what we are passing back and forth because obviously keeping things safe and sterile when working on set, especially working with other crew members, keeping them and their family safe is my top priority. So first thing I wanna show you here is with my overhead cam, the different types of gear that is common to go on set or that can be body worn. And that is the lav rod, transmitters, contacts, lavs, lav bullets. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the nitrate gloves here, which are excellent for uh, protecting uh, my hands as far as keeping them clean when working with uh, different transmitters or body worn microphones that may have been uh, on talent or just exposed to germs and stuff that I don't wanna get on my hands. Perfect. Gloves are on. We're ready to go. So the number one tool that I use here, as you can see on this overhead cam, is the sterile alcohol prep pads. What makes this special and different from most cleaning solutions is two things. Number one, it is relatively safe for most of your electronics. Uh, second is that it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses, it's used by hospitals, it's used by labs, because it will literally penetrate the cell wall of any bacteria or virus within five to 10 seconds, making it clean and sterile and safe to use back and forth with your talent. Speaking of, let's move to our overhead cam. We have a lav here, which is obviously a body-worn mic, very important to keep that sterilized and clean. Lav rod, something that constantly goes from our hands, to or down the wardrobe to get the lav connector down to like the ankle. Transmitters, which are also body worn. Now what you don't see here are the straps and ankle straps and different things that I use. It's very important that those get washed daily. And then as you can see here, Comtex, which go around with producers all day. And then headphones. So these are all items that I'm gonna talk about and show you how to clean. So really simple here, uh, I've got my nitrate gloves on. I'm gonna open up uh, this uh, pad, this gauze, the sterilized gauze, which is 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. So it kind of opens up to kind of this size right here. So basically what I'm gonna do simply is I'm actually going to clean the lav and I'm basically gonna go around the connector here, over the top of the connector. Now it's not so much that you have to worry about it going inside of the connector. And even if it did, it's going to evaporate because that's what this stuff does. It does not leave a residue. And I'm basically sliding it down the wire carefully. And then I'm also going to get the capsule here, the bottom of the capsule, the top, and then maybe one more time, the other direction here. And it will come back and let's put another little layer in here. So once you do this, I feel very confident now about putting this on a uh, actor. And this lav is ready to go. And literally within five to 10 seconds, it's dry and it's completely sterilized. Next, I'm gonna do the lav bullet, the transmitter, all of the different items, especially if it has just come back to me or it has been used recently or just in general. And look, I can actually wipe this whole transmitter clip everything with this and not worry about um, damaging the equipment. And in fact, I was on Electrosonic's website and they were saying that you can actually use isopropyl alcohol with these transmitters, even inside some of the um, TA5 connector and so forth. But you want to be careful and follow the directions because it does require a special brush and so forth. And you want to make sure that you don't get too much stuff inside of the electronic components because it is 70% isopropyl alcohol, which means that it's not all alcohol, like a 99%. So obviously contacts are a good idea to scrub these down. Now, a note is a lot of you, including myself, use the pouches right now uh, on set. I have a job tomorrow I'm prepping for. I'm not using the pouches because uh, honestly, I think it's a trap for bacteria and so forth. And I'm just gonna let people know, hey, I'm using the clips because it's a little more clean and sterilized. I don't think anyone's gonna argue right now with that. And then finally, uh, we're probably gonna want to uh, clean let me use another one of these. 
the uh, lav rod, like so. And, you know, anything that comes in contact with your hands, body, etc. in actors, I know if I was getting wired, I would really want the sound person to be doing what I'm doing, which is completely sterilizing everything, especially considering what's going on. So the last thing I want to talk about is the, well, let me say it right, the Hamilton Buell headphones. See, so yeah, this says this belongs to. So this is a headphone I started using recently that I absolutely love because it's expendable as far as its cost is concerned around, and it comes in a box of 10, and each individual headphone actually has a back, and you can write the name on it. So I love the idea of one-time use headphones on a production, dropping the contact in, and putting the name of whether it be the director or whoever gets this, and then letting them, you know, keep track of it like that for the run of show. And the last thing I wanna talk about here is the cesspool of what this is right here. This is obviously an iPhone and it belongs to me. And it's funny how easy it is to forget that we need to wash our hands and do all these things, but we don't clean our phones. And I'm going to thoroughly wipe the inside of the case here and the outside with these pads right here. I'm getting messages galore. Hopefully it's not tomorrow's job canceling uh, because the one that I had today canceled because of what's going on. And that we need to be really mindful about how it is we place gear on set and bring it back to us, especially for these body-worn equipment and headphones, such as just passing out headphones generically, and then one day someone gets their headphones, the next day gets their headphones. Not anymore. Everyone's gonna have their own pack with their own name, and I'm gonna hand it out just like this. And I think they'll really appreciate the fact that we're thinking about that. Also, same thing with transmitters, mics. So just make sure uh, you know, you're doing common sense practices and Please stay safe. I'm wishing the best for you, your families, your friends, and loved ones. And I think we're going to get through this. And hopefully this general cleaning guide on using production sound equipment was helpful for you on set. And uh, I'm going to look forward to seeing everyone soon.